Not long ago, Elon Musk invited a bunch of people who had bought products from Tesla, the Tesla Powerwall, to become part of the world's biggest battery. So far, 3,000 of them, 3,000, have already expressed interest in joining the program. That makes this one of the world's biggest batteries already. And there's another 22,000 people who have been invited to join. It's going to be interesting to see what they decide to do. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting the channel. I really do genuinely appreciate your support. PG&E announced that more than 1,500 Tesla Powerwall owners have already joined the new virtual power plant that it launched in partnership with Tesla in California. Essentially, what happens, right? You have a Tesla Powerwall and most likely solar. You could have wind but more than likely solar. The solar puts power into your power wall. You then sell that energy to the grid or you put that energy into your car or into your house. But the great thing about this is, right, that you don't actually technically have to have solar panels to make this work. All you really need is a Tesla battery because what can happen is the system here can actually be set up to be automated so that the battery will pull in power from the grid when power is cheap and it will sell it to the grid when power is expensive. So as you can see, this is a way for owners of Tesla Powerwalls to make money. Now, how does Tesla make money? Well, they organize it all, use their app, so they make a cut, right? Same thing with PG&E. Uh, I don't know why PG&E need, need to be included. I figured Tesla should just get rid of them, but Maybe someone knows why that they're needed and you can tell us all in the comment section below. But that's basically the simple way of explaining how this works. And it's a way that I think eventually electricity will become virtually free for most people. It'll be a marginal cost. Now, Tony Sieber on Rethink X has been saying this. Tony Sieber was actually the reason, Peter Diamandis and Tony Sieber were actually the reason I started this channel. I was watching them back in 2014 and they were talking about what would happen today. And they predicted a lot of the things that are happening now. And when it comes to this whole battery energy storage, the concept of marginal cost of energy makes a lot of sense when you see how this is beginning to play out now in California, right? A virtual power plant consists of distributed energy storage systems like Tesla Powerwalls used in concert to provide grid services and avoid the use of polluting and expensive peak of power plants. Same thing is happening in Texas right now. Texas, Tesla launched a test VPP in California where power owners would join in voluntarily without compensation to let the VPP pull power from their battery packs when the grid needed it. However, yeah, you wouldn't think many people would want to do that, right? I mean, use your power pack to help the grid for free. Uh, I don't think I'd be signing up for that. It looks like some people did though. Things changed recently though, when last month Tesla and PG&E a large electricity company in Northern California announced the launch of a new commercial VPP where homeowners with power walls would get compensated for helping the grid with the energy in their battery packs. Now, I don't think most people fully understand the gravity of this because what happens, right, when the electrical system in any country or state or local area goes out, when it, there's not enough power for the generation and it just cuts out, right? What happens is peaker plants jump in to make up for that shortfall of energy. These peaker plants are things like massive gas plants, right? Massive fossil fuel burning plants. And they actually do take a little while to jump in. They take a few hours usually, it depends on what type of peaker plant it is, take a few hours. But here's the key point. They're incredibly polluting and incredibly, incredibly expensive. Depending on the country or state that you're in, this kind of electricity in these peak periods when peaker plants have to jump in, can cost up to 200 to 300 times more than the normal cost electricity. You can see how owners of these power walls could make a lot more money than what you might expect, even though, right, even though they're not actually sending all that much power out. The actual amount of money they can potentially make to replace these peaker plants is bigger than you would think. Now, we have a battery here in Australia, which our prime minister mocked. He said it was the big banana. He said it wasn't going to work. At the time, it was the biggest battery in the world. Elon Musk said 
in response to a television program on Australia that he would help build it. He was mocked by people. They said it wouldn't work. He said he'd do it in 100 days. If it wasn't done in 100 days, Tesla would provide it for free. Or he would provide it for free. I don't remember. Anyway, it was done in 100 days. And the funny thing is, one year later, the company that paid for this battery decided to double it in size because it works so well. And guess what? It's been an economic success. And now other companies around Australia are like, well, let's do the same thing. And so they are. So this kind of thing works really well. PG&E has now released an update on the virtual power plant and said that more than 1,500 Tesla Powerwall owners have already joined the program. However, 25,000 customers with Powerwalls have been invited and more than 3,000 have expressed interest. So it could increase to 3,000 within a very short period of time. I'm going to guess that lots of those 25,000 over the course of the next few months will join up as well, making this one very, very big Pika plant, which provides clean energy to the grid. Now, there's only going to be more and more people with these battery systems over the next few years, meaning this Pika plant, this virtual Pika plant, this clean energy Pika plant will only get bigger and bigger and bigger, displacing who? Fossil fuels. Drew Baglino, Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering at Tesla said, Enabling Powerwall customers to support the grid in their community is a necessary and important part of accelerating the transition to sustainable energy. We seek to partner with utilities and regulators everywhere to unlock the full potential of storage to bring more renewable, resilient, and less costly electricity to everyone. Now, you might be thinking 3,000 Powerwalls, it's not that many. Actually, it's more than you think because it's not 3,000. With an average of two Powerwalls per customer, the VPP most likely has already got at least 13 megawatt load capacity based on only the 1,500 customers. When that doubles, that would then become 26 megawatts. That's getting pretty big. Now, PG&E says that if all eligible Powerwall owners join the VPP, there will be enough available megawatts equivalent to the energy generated by a small power plant. That's stepping things up another level. So what do you get? Well, Tesla owners can join through the Tesla app and they receive $2 per kilowatt hour as they send energy to the grid during emergency events. Now, personally, I think it's a no-brainer. Why wouldn't you do it? Because even if you sign up, you don't have to stay with it. You can you can actually, using the app, change your requirements. You can say, well, I don't want to give any energy this week. I need it. Oh, I do want to give it this week. I don't, I don't want it. Or you can say, today, I need my energy and you can't have it. So it's really a no-brainer as to why not all 25,000 would join it, in my view. That's just me, though. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you got a system? Would you join up if this system was available to you in your state, country, wherever you are? And one final note, just think of the battery pack size in a battery. The EV I bought just for energy storage, I would be driving it just for energy storage, has a 62 kilowatt hour pack. Now that's about the size of five Tesla power walls. Imagine when all the EVs everywhere, when there's many, many tens of millions of them, join up to become one enormous battery. Imagine how that will change the world.